Yes, guys, it's Simi. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the best competitive center back builds for you guys. As you can probably see from the title, this is a competitive center back build. A lot of you lot have been requesting this one. So I got you covered. I've got you one of the best. And when I say one of the best, this is tried and tested in competitive leagues such as VFL, VPG and PGS. So you definitely want to stay tuned for this one. If you want to absolutely destroy every opponent you play and be a brick wall and not let anyone pass to you, this is the build for you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Make sure it goes grey. Turn post notifications on as well. If we hit 20,000 subscribers before FIFA 22 comes out, I'm going to give away two copies of FIFA 22 to you guys. All you gotta do is just follow up my socials and just make sure you're subscribed. That's literally it. And right now we're on form to hit 20k subs before FIFA 22. So help hit that goal and maybe you can win FIFA 22. So yeah, without saying too much more, make sure you hit the like button and let's get into this video. Bow. Do you guys want cheap and reliable ultimate team coins? And when I say cheap, I mean very, very cheap. Well, then I got you guys covered. Make sure to check out utnice.com for extremely cheap and reliable foot coins. All you got to do is head over to their website, utnice.com, click FIFA 21, select the platform you use, select the transaction type, whether it's comfort or auction, and then select the amount of coins that you want. Even better, if you use code SIM6 at checkout, you'll get yourself an extra 6% off your purchase. The link to utnice.com will be down in the description below. Make sure to check it out and use SIM6 for extra 6% off. Let's get into this video. Okay, so there you have it. That is the center back build on screen. It is 91 rated, 6 foot 2 and 149 pounds. Shout out to Booth for this build. This is his center back build. He plays for my VFL team and he is just one of the best center backs I've ever played with. He's so goaded. So this is his build. I'm going to break it down for you. What he's put his traits on. And yeah, as you can see, if you have a look at the stats, it's got 81 physical, 90 defending, 84 dribbling, 87 passing and 86 pace. So it's a very, oh very balanced all round wow. center back build. It's it's very OP. Let's get into this build. And let me show you what to put your traits on. So obviously, we've got to start off with the fundamentals. You should know that by now. You want to be a left wing back build. Left wing backs are the meta on FIFA 21 pro clubs. For a centre back, even for left backs, it's better to be a left wing back. And as you can see, if we go to left back, all our stats decrease. And then if we go to centre back, our stats just go to absolute poo. So make sure you're a left wing back. We want to be six foot two, 149 pounds, as that's what tends to be the meta for this game in regards to centre back. And then let's break down what Booth has his traits on, what I've got my traits on right now. Okay, so starting off with physical, you want to upgrade jumping. Jumping is one of the main traits for a centre back that you need. It's a must. So as you can see, we've upgraded quite a lot of jumping, pretty much all of it, apart from this one here, because you have to upgrade extra strength and it's kind of a waste of traits. So don't upgrade that one. But as you can see, this gives us 84 jumping, which is more than adequate enough, especially considering you're six foot two. You should be contesting every ball in the air. And Booth does that. He wins pretty much every ball. I don't know how he does it. Well, clearly, this is how he does it from his build. And yeah, that's what you want to do. So that gives us 84 jumping, 96 stamina, 73 strength and 84 aggression, which overall is very good for a center back. It's got good jumping and great stamina. You know, it's got too much stamina. We don't need 96. For a centre back, you only really need like 88 stamina. That's more than enough. But 96, I mean, we're not going to complain because why would we? But that's what you get being a left wing back build. It's going to give you a lot of stamina. So moving on to defending. Normally, we just skip past defending if you watch my own videos frequently. But of course, we're centre back. We need defending. So this is the main priority for this build is defending. So you want to put your traits on what I've got, which is maximising every defensive trait there is and yeah that's there's not too much more to say we can just look at the stats 95 interceptions 90 defensive awareness 88 standing tackle and 95 sliding tackle when i say it's op it's op very very op those stats right there better than sergio ramos van dyke Thiago silva varan all of them combined that's how good this build is moving on to dribbling and yes you actually do need some dribbling traits and the most important of these, I would suggest, is ball control. And as you can see, we've got very high ball control because it is a very important trait. 
We've got 95 ball control. Ball control stops the ball from getting away from your feet. So it just makes your first touches so much better, which you need as a centre back. You don't want them sloppy first touches, them slippage moments. You don't want the ball to get away from you and land at the attacker's feet because then you're screwed. So you need to make sure you've got as much ball control as possible, which is very good to have 95 ball control. And uh, yeah, that's important because then it's less likely a defender's going to nab the ball off you. And then you want to upgrade a bit of agility and a bit of balance. It doesn't give you that much, but it's more than enough. It's a very adequate amount. So make sure you just upgrade your traits as you can see, like I've got. And this gives us very good ball control and dribbling. Yeah, skill moves. Of course, you don't need anything more than free star. You're a competitive center back. If you play a competitive league match and you do a five star skill as a center back, you're getting dropped from the team. So you don't need skills. Don't do it. Moving on to passing. And as you can see, we have gone and upgraded the, pretty much the whole of the left hand side. And that is because being a centre back, you have to be good at passing. Whether it's short pass or long pass, you need to be good at passing. And as you can see, we've upgraded our short pass and long pass, which gives us 90 crossing, 80 long pass, 96 short pass and 87 curve. So you want to upgrade this and passing is so crucial for a centre back. Look at uh, centre backs like Thiago Silva who always break the lines with their passes or Van Dijk who finds them over the tops. Even um, Alderweireld is very good at finding those over the top through balls from the CB. John Terry was very good at it as well. And yeah, so you need a centre back who has that over the top vision and can basically get the ball to the striker and catch the other team off guards because that's what a lot of good centre backs do. They have good passing. So that is what you want to have your traits on. And yeah, short pass especially is also very, very important because you need to play quick one twos with your centre backs, your left back, right back, your CDMs, your centre mids, even your goalkeeper. If you've got really bad short pass, you're going to struggle to make a good pass and you may give it away to your opponents. So make sure you've got good short pass as well. Moving on to shooting. And yes, we do actually have shooting. You may be thinking why let me explain it so heading accuracy for some reason is on the shooting section of traits i'm not sure why i don't think it's this will be here next fifa but you need to upgrade heading accuracy it's one of the most important traits for a center back when you're playing competitively the center backs are the ones that tend to be in the box for crosses and corners so you need to make sure you've got good heading accuracy so you can score your headers and booth tends to get his head on a lot of things and yeah he's very good with getting up high and scoring headers. So make sure you've got that on. What I would suggest though, is because you could take this off and then have just these three, because getting these means you have to put traits on all of these, which is a bit annoying and it can be considered a waste. Although I would recommend you do it. I will, I will show you at the end of this build what to put your traits on if you don't want to upgrade these two, but we'll get to that at the end of the build. So stay tuned. Moving on to the last part of the build, one of the most important parts of this build, considering this game is all about pace, is pace. And before we do that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please just take a minute to just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, make sure it's great and turn post notifications on because we're going to have a lot of FIFA 22 content coming your way. All the new builds for FIFA 22, you're going to see them on this channel first. So you want to be here and make sure you get here first. And just make sure you're part of the channel, support the channel. If not, you're a nonce. So subscribe, hit the like button if you haven't already. And let's move on to pace. And as you can see, we've upgraded all of our pace. This game is all about pace. All the attackers you play against or will play against will have 99 pace. So you need to combat that with as much pace as you can get. And that gives us 88 acceleration and 87 sprint speed, which is very, very good for a center back, especially being six foot two and 149 pounds. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much all the traits. Make sure you got pace, so then you can counter the 99 pace strikers. So yeah, that is the best competitive centre back build. Booth's centre back build. Shout out to Booth. Link to his channel will be in the description below. I'm just going to quickly show you what to put your traits on if you don't want to waste all of those. So the first thing I would put is long pass. Make sure you get that long pass up. Make yeah, make sure you upgrade all the long pass available. Secondly, I would upgrade ball control. Make sure your ball control is up, up, up. And that gives us 99 ball control. So your first touch will be a flipping amazing. And yeah, that's what you want to do. And then the last part I would recommend 
is probably a bit of strength. And that leaves us with one skill point. Chuck it on wherever you can see it really at this point. And a bit of curve. Why not? So yeah, that there is the best competitive centre-back build for you guys on FIFA 21 Pro Clubs. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Follow up my socials as you can see on screen. I reply to everything. Anything you want to ask me, just drop me a message on socials. Uh, follow up my Twitch. We stream there every Wednesday with subscribers like you guys. And every other day we stream on YouTube. So make sure to stay tuned. Post notifications turned on. And let's get 20,000 subscribers before FIFA 20. If we do that, you guys have the chance to win two copies of FIFA 22. So you might as well drop some comments of any other builds you want to see in the description. But right now we've done pretty much every competitive position. We've got goalkeeper and left back left to do. And that is pretty much it. But yeah, it's been Simi. I'll see you like next video. Peace. Uh, look. I've been that nigga, don't get too attached. Swear I've been gifted, I know that I'm different. The way that I switch it on every track. Uh, bitch, smoking this weed, yeah, help me relax. Uh, I 